we need dedicated time off that we, when we go to the doctor before we get sick to stay healthy. The hard thing though is in addition to your, your annual physical, mm -hmm. there's so many things to keep up with, whether it's a dermatologist or a sexual health appointment. There's so many things you have to schedule and you can rarely get them on the same day. So does just having one day actually help? So the, what we target with the on sick day is much more the cultural awareness. There's a real conflict between work and health that's going on where pe people don't feel comfortable taking time off to see the doctor, get this uh, checkup, the annual checkup to find high cholesterol, high blood pressure and take care of it before you get sick. That's what we are tackling. You know, I had this issue, but I'm in the news business and but, you can't predict when news comes up and particularly uh, when I started in television, I couldn't make a dentist appointment that I, that I could keep. Um, but my dentist eventually, I just said, I need, to, I need to be able to do this in a more last minute way. Do workers, Oshin at Handy, who are mostly independent contractors, do they need something formal like this to actually go out and do it? Look, I think a lot of it is cultural. We've got a very young employee base. The average age at, age at Handy is 29. We've got a responsibility as employers to think about how we set a cultural awareness for this so that it's easy for people to have those conversations with their boss to say, hey, I need to take time off and for it to be okay. For our contractors, it's different. It's a much harder problem to solve. How much does it cost a company, a company that isn't majority independent contractors to just say, hey guys, here's an additional day. I think it's a net positive for the company. And you can see the companies already value their employee health enormously. All health insurance plans actually have the preventative care covered for free. Many companies on top of that have wellness programs that cost millions of dollars. But yet these programs don't get used because there's this cultural barrier that keeps people from taking advantage of it. So this is you know, where the leadership tab, task came, comes in to actually set the signal that there's explicit permission to use these programs and take time off. There have been yeah. other companies though, like Concierge Medical Services and Doc in the Box, like CityMD, that have sprung up to try and give people more real-time, last-minute healthcare services. Is this a way for ZocDoc to try and get its core medical community back in the game? I think there's a lot of uh, solutions for acute problems that uh, patients have. What we realized, actually looking at our own data, is that only one or three of ZocDoc employees took care of themselves in a preventative manner. Have either of you guys taken your unsick day? I have scheduled it. I'm definitely going to take <laughs> How it. How many times a year do you get <laughs> sick? I'm pretty sure my employees are going to be so happy I'm out of the office that day. <laughs> Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.